everyone. This is Kathleen Lay. Hope you're doing well. I want to talk to you about a topic that not many people talk to me about growing up. And I think it's important for this day and age for us girls who maybe are young or old who maybe need someone else's opinion. Take it for what it's worth, but this is what I've dealt with in my life. I've done things both ways. Before Christ, while I was with Christ, and after. What I mean by that is, before Christ, as a girl, people used to say, if you were still a virgin, oh, you better get divergenized. You better have sex because um, there's something wrong with you if you don't. So a lot of times, there was a lot of peer pressure from other girls or guys like, you haven't tried it yet. You haven't done that yet. And it became something where if you didn't do it, then you were an outcast. Is any of you, or are any of you going through that? Any of my young friends where people try to make you feel bad that maybe you're a virgin and you're waiting? And then there's the other side to it that you become a Christian and you want to make a guy a Christian. Are any of you doing that where you're dating guys thinking that somehow by the way you are or by you going to church that you'll change a guy like you'll meet Mr. Right at the club a good looking guy and that you'll turn him into a Christian uh, are any of you struggling with that well I want to let you know that neither of those ways worked for me and you know trying to find somebody who really loves you and working so hard at seeking somebody who will just love you for you is a big job to do and the only thing that worked for me was when I put my desires and my heart into the hands of God. You see, originally, when I was young, I was just told that whenever that time happens, make sure you're protected. And I was just told by my friends, we need to find someone for you. As if I was some kind of like disgusting girl that couldn't meet a guy, you know. And so I want to encourage you that the Bible says that you should wait. It talks about waiting and abstinence in the Bible because it says, do not awaken love before it so desires. If you're pure today, I want to encourage you. That's a great thing to be. It's a blessing and a gift. In fact, it's harder to remain pure than it is not to. You're on the right route and I'm here for you to support you. Do the right thing. It's a good thing to wait to wait for the right one, to wait for your husband. The other part is if you've become a Christian, maybe you've lived your ways the wrong way and life wrong, and you become a Christian, can I let you know that you're never going to evangelism date? Evangelism dating never worked for me. Trying to find Mr. Right out in the world and then make him a Christian never worked for me. Now, you can try it, but I'm pretty sure it won't work for you either. So I want to encourage you. This is what I did and how God changed my life. I wrote down the desires of my heart. I asked God, God, I really would like these things, but it just seems impossible. How can I meet a godly man? How can I meet someone who's going to love me and treat me with love and respect? And I wrote my desires down and I started seeking God. And literally within weeks, I found the right guy or actually God found the right one for me because he wants us to seek him first. It says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things will be added to you. He's not going to leave you in a position where you're not going to ever find someone. He knows the desires of your heart, but he also doesn't want your desire to be for a man first. He wants it to be for him first. I want to encourage you, seek the Lord, write down your desires don't give in to peer pressure or feelings that you'll never meet anybody. That's just not true. God has a perfect and a plan, perfect plan and purpose for your life. If you're waiting, continue to do so. I support you. There are many men out there waiting for their wives, and there are many women waiting for their husbands. Join the local youth group or a group of people that support you and encourage you. Text me or inbox me and I'll support you and pray with you with your decision to remain pure. I can tell you, doing it God's way is 100% better. You don't have baggage and damage to deal with and you have the opportunity to
to have someone who loves you and upholds you. My husband waited for me. Our first kiss was on our wedding day. And God redeemed my life through that. He redeemed relation through that. And I want to encourage you, real men wait. You know the saying, why buy the cow if the milk's free? It's a true saying. Why should a man marry a woman if, he give, if she gives him everything anyways? So if you're looking for love and marriage, hold out. Don't give in to it. You're worth waiting for. God bless you. I love you. And I'll continue to talk about these topics in the days to come.